M0FXB, welcome to my channel and my videos on the ICOM ID52. M0FXB, so let's call this the dummy's guide to DR mode. So what is DR mode? Let's have a quick listen it, to it in action. Right. The are at night, uh, call on the uh, back so that's me listening to Reflector One Charlie using my Pi Star Jumbo Hotspot. So what are we looking at? Well, at the bottom here where it says from. This is my nearest connection. So at the moment I've selected Pi Star Jumbo Hotspot, which is in the room. But we could select a repeater, my nearest repeater. At the top, we are selecting where we want to connect to. So at the top, if we go up, it says use reflector. So we have a reflector, one Charlie which is very popular and we've told the radio to connect to that reflector and I'll show you how in a second. Let's firstly show you how to go into DR mode. So see most radios they will have a button that says DR, it says DR here. Hold it down. We've now gone back to VFO mode. So this is the mode we're normally used to seeing and we can set our CTCSS and our shift frequency ETC. And we can create memory channels. This is memory mode. We can create our favorite memory channels. And we could use this system to contact other stations on digital voice. But ICOM have come up with this system for quite a few years now called DR mode, which packages it all uh, into a system that's a lot, a lot easier to connect repeaters to repeaters, hotspots to repeaters, and individual users. You can even uh, search an individual call sign. So if you want to get back into DR mode, hold down DR. Now all the information that's in DR mode can be downloaded from dstarinfo.com and you can download these files and import them into the radio. And I'll just quickly show you how you would do that. Once you've got the file onto your SD card, you would just go menu, set, go down, up to, or down to SD card. Then you would go to import and export. And you've got different formats here. Import, you can import your repeater list, call sign list, FM radio memory, and GPS memory. The main one is the repeater list that we would be using for our DR mode, although your call sign list would also be handy. So let's back out. So you've got your radio in DR mode, you've already have the repeater list pre-installed or you've added it already. And let's presume that you've got a jumbo hotspot or an open spot three of some kind as well, and you've added that to the radio and I will add a link in this video uh, to how to add your hotspot or your local repeater into a DR radio and we're using the ICOM 52. So how do we select our hotspot or repeater? So select the from section and then push the enter button. On, on the 705 you can tap the screen. And let's uh, look at our options here. We, we've got repeater list which I told you about. We've got a near repeater search and we've got our TX history. So a repeater list looks like this. We'll select there and we'll go to one of these lists and we'll, this is a group and then we'll select it and we can choose any of these repeaters. Let's just choose one at random. We've now chosen this repeater. Now we're assuming that that repeater is very near us. Now if we want to just talk to that repeater, um, we, the CQ section is fine and we can have a chat through that repeater. Let's select our hotspot. So we'll go back to the from section. We'll select that and we'll, we can choose repeater list and look for where we've put our hotspot and I'm sure mine is in local and I've just called it, well, let's go for the open spot here. So we'll select it. We've put our open spot three, which is in this room. And because we want to connect via reflectors, we're going to go to the two section and we're going to select the two 
and we're going to choose reflector and then if we want to link to a reflector we're going to firstly go to link to reflector and now we've got the history stored here of reflectors that we've linked to before but let's do a what we call direct input so we're going to select direct input and we want a reflector now the good thing about some of the newer radios that are coming out you can turn the channel and you can select XRF reflectors, DCS reflectors as well. But let's keep it on XRF and let's get this to z this number here to 001. There you are, 001 and CL as well, because you can actually change the C, but we want CL. Click enter. So now when we key the mic, it's going to link to that reflector. So you would key the mic like so. And then you'd get a message back. If if so, it won't do it if someone's already talking. Zero zero one Charlie. Uh, fifty three fifty four percent. Okay, we've linked to that reflector. Now we can't talk to anyone until we change the top to use reflector. So select the top, the two section, with your enter. Hit reflector and change it now to use reflector. So now you'll be able to talk to these people that are talking now. Now you've got some more options once you're here. Now you can select the top section again and you can go to reflector. And when someone isn't speaking, you can click unlink. When you key the mic, it will tell you that it has unlinked from the reflector. Active. Yeah, special connector is what open spot says, but it means it will unlink. The other option you've got is a gateway CQ. So let's just select the top again. Go to gateway. Now when you select gateway, it's going to go to all your repeaters. And let's just choose one here, Quebec. And it, when you select it, it will put all the information in there that's needed to connect to that repeater. Now, the repeater does need to be connected to, a, to its server to work with its system because it's an internet based system that's what gateway means the b tends to mean that it sets 70 centimeter repeater so if we key we should connect and remember the open spot is connecting everything open spot connected to b e to r q t bravo there you go so we're now connected to that repeater i mean i'm in the uk that's australia i don't think we're going to get a contact because it's bedtime for them um, so we could try, let's try a repeater more local and then we'll call through. So we'll select, um, let's see if it will let us unlink. Unlink, we'll key the mic. Open spot, special connector active. Hopefully that has unlinked us. So, um, then we're going to go gateway CQ again. Let's find something UK. Sorry, UK. Let's find... Well, we just have to choose one at random, and let's hope. Let's just key it, and we'll give it a go. See if it connects. Open spot requested. Server not found. Yeah, so it's no one on that one. We'll just try another one. Let's try a Cardiff one. Let's try that. Try again. It looks like we are in range of it, but anyway, you get the idea of a of a gateway connection. Now, let's say you want to find an individual user. Select the top section. Open spot. Go down to receive history, and choose one of these call signs that it automatically stores, like so. And we can key up there, and it will actually try and find and wait for that station to talk um, and then hopefully um, have a contact open spot trying to connect the server it, and again they, they've got to be it on the system for this to work so that's call sign routing m0fxb calling zl2gj
So let's get back onto Reflector 1 Charlie using my open spot. Let's have a look at our CS, which stands for call sign. So go menu, set, and then go to call sign. And that tells you what you're actually doing. So we've got my call sign and we're in a gateway connection using CQ CQ. And it's my call sign here as well. And if we change the setting to Cardiff and go menu, set, call sign, look, it's, we've got Cardiff at the top there. So what you're doing, you can check on, in that section. Even if you're in, not in DR mode, if you're in DV, DV mode, so it's come out of DV mode, or DR mode, and now we're in a normal memory. Let's go to VFO. And let's change, we're in the mode of DV here. Now let's have a look, now let's just quickly key. Let's have a look what the menu section, so we go menu, or the CS section, set, call sign, look. So now it's telling us what we, you know, what we're up to. So if you're ever unsure and you need to check, then this is where to check. So we can back out of that. So if you wanted to, say, contact a, a repeater, you could put in the repeater frequencies as normal, you know, um, input, output. You can put a, shif a shift in of the repeater. Once you've got those items in, then when you do menu, call sign, you're going to see here, if you've, if you've added it correctly now, if you've added the shift, these will be populated. And you'll be able to tell if you've got the right settings in there. And you generally need to have a B and a G. So I hope this helps. Just an overview on DR mode. We'll go back into DR mode. It's one of those systems that when you first see it, it can, it's very confusing because you have all this information on the screen. So you just have to break it down that the bottom section is your nearest connection. The top section is where you want to go, who you want to connect to. If you were going to add your hotspot, what you're effectively doing is in the bottom section, you're putting in the frequency of your hotspot on PyStar OpenSpot ETC, a zero shift connection. Normally you'd put in like a B, but the reason mine's a P is because I have more than one hotspot in this house and on this radio. Then you're going to the two section and you're saying, right, what do I want to connect to? Is it a reflector? Is it a repeater? Is it a gateway to queue? Is it core sign routing? And it's DR mode puts that in a nice, neat package. And that's what allows you to do things like a repeater search. So we go reflector. Actually, no, go to the bottom section, open spot, and then you can do nearby, nearby repeater. And that's when you do your search. And you've seen that already. It's the DR mode that allows you to do that back out we we'll just lastly we'll go back to my open spot and we can actually select it we can go down to reflector again and we can actually do an echo test here we key and we can actually echo test or we can just put repeater information select that and when you key it will the repeater will tell you yeah, it's still trying to connect, but what it will do, it will tell you when it is connected, what it's connected to. So let's just give it a minute. <coughs> so we're connected. And if you want to ask it again, are we connected? Just go reflector, repeater information, key the mic. Open spot connected to REF001 Charlie. And then we'll end with an echo test, for, not from my dog. And we'll just quickly go M0 FXB echo test. M0 FXB echo test. And there you are. So there's the, that's very, very handy. Why are you barking during my video? Mazzy, any reason? What do you want to say? CQ, CQ? She's such a lovely dog. Her name's Mazzy. Okay, well, I hope that helps you get your head around DR mode. It's an amazing system, and, it, you know, they have it on virtually all digital voice radios now from ICOM. So enjoy. 7-3, and all the best.
Please like and subscribe my channel if you find this helpful. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from M0FXB. 7-3, all the best.